Hello there, I finally got my first more or less good row for bare arm, so before anything else I wanted so badly to test it out. Nowadays an arm build can do a lot of damage, so to be able to kill mobs I went as bloodied as I could be and as sneaky as my gear and buffs let me be. The tactic is simple, sneak on mob, few hits to kill him and get lost, though with underpower row anyway you will struggle. Speaking of the row itself, this is under armor bare arm with more limb damage, so yes, I can cripple them faster, but it is useful only if you fight bosses. Additional point of agility makes me more sneaky, well, at least something. I don't have a proper melee build, if you want to have one, you gotta boost your endurance, and here I should have moved some points from intelligence, but I'll be okay this way. I will leave a link to my full build in the comment section, check it out if you want. And now what buffs I used, mutations for melee build and some negative effects suppressed to have more strength means more damage. No camps this time, because I was too lazy, but some food to boost HP and AP, yes. Why not, I need to be well fed. For junk shield perk, I have what my character is made of, makes sense I guess. For AP regen, use your best food or camp buffs. Bears love honey and here I am. First I need it for dodge perk and as well I will fly around to dodge the damage in comp. This is very important for melee build. And now let's fight. First I will show you what damage I do against mini hawks. Basically two hits per mob, middle level mob. Should be more or less the same for 100 level mini hawk. My tactic is avoid the damage by flying away after every kill. Though I can actually tank damage, and you're about to see it. <coughs> Here, meet or even small distance to get lost works, and this is actually a good news. Now, Big Papa Hawk. Should be max level, but I hit my interface to spice up a little bit the gameplay and make it more realistic. Judge yourself, and you will feel the game very differently, especially if you're doing the scorched earth. As you see I can tank the damage, but anyway it's better to keep some distance for a while to reset your sneakiness and go for it once more. The idea was to fly and hit him right in the head, but I'm so bad at melee fights. You see? There is some delay going on and anyway I couldn't show a very nice fight actually. He's dead and it's time to get lost as fast as possible, but not too far, these guys don't have perception of red scorps, I can tell. I think Bethesda should adjust it properly, why I can sneak on more reds or red scorps. Now it's time for animals. I choose anglers because they can burn us and they are tanky and this one was nearby so why not. If you got hit, better to pop up a steam pack before close contact, just in case. Robots, I suppose they have the same amount of hit points as mini hawks, but definitely the same perception. Well, here I tried to hit this Mr. Gutsy in an eye of visual sensor, no no. Sentry bots are very easy to kill, and I think they should be tougher, or at least easier to kill with under armor weapons and harder with loaded. I mean, damage threshold is not very good implemented here. And their guns suck with time. Finally, when I am out of honey, let's hunt flying objects. Scotch Beast, not queen, but anyway. I can tank her any type of damage all day long. They just suck in general. In Fallout 76, you have special ammo type to kill them faster, and they are not dangerous whatsoever. I popped up a steam pack only because of her minions, and I irradiated myself pretty much just before she landed. Okay, done. Did you know by the way that you can get inside a vertebrate and make it bleed? Watch this. This is a blood. <laughs> Basically, that is why you need honey with melee builds to destroy flying things.
And I almost got this cargo boat, but then I died. Okay. After my long journey, I tried to meet other bears, but there was a limit. You can't go further. So I stuck with some cultists. Anyway, thank you for being part of it. I'll see you later. You will be sacrificed to the divine light! <laughs>